I'm starting off on freshly washed hair. I already washed and conditioned. Now I'm deep conditioning. I'm using the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. And let me tell y'all. Hmm. All right. So hair. Uh, my deep conditioner is already out. You know, time to get to work. I look like a oompa loompa. But you know, okay. So as you can see, I have twists in my hair. So I like to kind of wash out my deep conditioner with the twist because it just helps with the whole process of detangling. And I honestly hate to detangle. It takes a, a while for me. So if I could avoid doing it twice, I really would. Next, I like to go in with virgin coconut oil. I think this is the best oil for my hair. I mean, there are other oils, but this one works the best. Well, at least it works the best for me. So I like to just rub it all in, especially on my ends, because I do have color traded hair, and it's mainly on my ends. So I like to get it all in there and make sure it just nice. So next, I'm going in with my lemongrass leave-in conditioner by LK Natural. I absolutely love this thing. Like, when I tell you, it's the bomb. It's the bomb. All right. It's the bomb. It really, really works well with the coconut oil for me. And I just like to spray it in and then rub it up, rub it up, rub it up. All right. So next, I'm going in with the Cream of Nature Curl Repair Leave-In. Um, this leave-in is the bomb. Um, some people might be wondering why I'm using two leave-ins. Well, the LK Naturals is actually water-based, and this one is more of like a creamy texture. And I just think it works well with the both of them. That's just my personal opinion. And it really makes my curls start to pop more, as you can see. All right, next, I'm gonna use the Cream of Nature Curl Activating Cream. That, listen, this is yo bomb as you can see i had a hard time getting it out it's really 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 thick which is great because my hair loves thick products so it really just you know traps in all that moisture traps in all those products and as you can see my curls is a popping like you see that <laughs> look hmm, look at that from the beginning to now just with these products popping all right so now i'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the next side So I like to rake in my products through my hair. I think it really helps it to absorb the products that I'm putting in, whereas I'm just taking the product and just applying it in my hair. I've really seen a difference with me raking in the products and my hair looks way better from my wash and goes than it used to be. I mean, come on, look at those curls, like, look, look at them, look at them, but I want y'all to also take note that I haven't used any gel in my hair yet, like, these are all just regular leave-ins and cream-based products. But now, we about to go in with a gel, and we about to see what's popping. Alright, so I'm using the black castor oil and flaxseed gel. I honestly really do use the olive oil eco styler. I just said, hey, why not? Let's just see how it goes with this wash and go. Let's see if it'll make it pop, you know? So I actually got this big tub of gel from my local hair store. I'm pretty sure if you go to your local hair store, you'll be able to find it. But that's where I got it from. I got the black castor oil one and the olive eco styler. So as you can see, my curls are definitely popping. Like, 
this is now after applying all the products including the gel and I really do like how my curls are looking really do Hey guys, so I put my hair in a pineapple last night and went to sleep. So all I have to do is take it down and kind of style it how I want. One thing, I did cut off all my heat damage ends because it looked bad. Like I was like, what is this? Like what is this? I literally cut them off. Like, you see that? This whole chunk. Yeah, I cut it off. I was sick of it and honestly with my hair cut I feel like it will look better because those dead ends really were pissing me off and I just feel like it wouldn't have looked good it would not have looked good so we're gonna style and see what's popping wow okay <laughs> so this is the front actually where I cut you can kind of see it I mean there's still more there's still more you see like, those little pieces but I cut majority because if you saw it before, it was like down head. <laughs> no. So I'm just gonna try to style it. So this is how it looks. My curls are still defined. Look at that. I have a little frizz, but not much. Honestly, kind of really liking how it came out. Especially being that I cut the front and I just didn't know how it would look when I cut the front. So I'm just going to try style it and see how it looks. So I'm going to go in with my toothbrush. I just have a regular toothbrush, nothing fancy. No. And I'm just going to take my holy grail, the best thing ever, to me, olive oil eco styler. And I'm just going to, there's not much to do, but you know, really kind of just fix these edges. And I'm not too sure how I'm gonna style it. Seems like my front looks kind of crazy, but better, really better. But I'm gonna try things. So let's see. So I'm just taking the olive oil eco styler and I'm just redefining some of these curls in the front especially because I kind of messed with them when I cut it and I was just all over the place so I'm just giving it back some definition so this is my hair not stretch nothing like this is just it very crunchy kind of but that's because of the gel so what I'm gonna do is let's take this this oil by Maui Moisture I think it's Maui mm. I don't even know how to pronounce it but we gonna say it's Maui right I'm just gonna put a little bit yeah that's good and I can just rub it to my hair So I'm just rub it through my hair to kind of break the gel cast. See, kind of broke the gel cast and it's looking better already. Already. Okay. So I can honestly leave my hair like this. Like I don't mind it being like this. To be honest. Final look. I think I'm just gonna take a head tie and tie this down for like probably five minutes just so I can really stay and then I'll come back and get ready gotta go and I'll show you guys so I'm deciding if to pick it or not 
I don't know. I mean, it's day one here. Just day one, and I feel like it's not bad. So, guys, this is the final look. I just kind of fluffed it out a little bit. Ooh, let's hide that. Yeah, I just kind of fluffed it out a little bit. Nothing serious because I don't really want to disrupt the calls, especially since it's the first day and I have like about three more days to go. So, no. <laughs> I usually, I used to wash my hair every week, so let's say I do it on Sunday, I will wash it on Sunday again. But I realized that my hair don't really last a week, like, after like three to four days, it's like frizzy, it's big, the curls aren't as defined. Yes, the volume is amazing, but, no. <laughs> so, I'm starting to wash it every three to four days. See how that goes, I'll keep you guys updated with all of that. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it, you know. This is it, guys. This this is my final look. But I hope you guys like it. I will keep you guys updated for um, day two, day three. Um, and you guys will be able to see how my hair looks after the days. And maybe if it looks good on day four, I probably will stretch it to day five. Probably. We'll see. But this is the final look. Hope you guys like it. Also, I will do a video with my um, nighttime routine, night hair care routine, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But um, whatever I do at night before I go to sleep, that. I will do an uh, updated video on that. Because I know certain people are like, alright, so you wash your hair, now what? How do you keep it to look good the next day? What do you do? Well, yeah. That's how I was when I first started doing wash and goes. I was like, okay, miss, I wash my hair, and now uh, what? because they too looked like they know I had to I had to wash it again and I couldn't keep doing that so I found a routine that works for me and it might work for you so we'll see all right so thank you guys for watching this video I really do hope you guys like it I hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys probably got a few tips I don't know this is just the way I do it I do do my wash and goes different based on the products but um, I can always do a next wash and go video with different products show you the results Whatever works for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and make sure to subscribe. Yes, this is my first video. Please make sure to subscribe. I am trying to really make this a habit and actually start posting videos because I do enjoy showing people what I do with my hair or helping people with ways to get their hair to be puffy and then, you know. <laughs> so please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below.